Happy New Year, everyone. During these holidays, let's do something fun. We're going to try our Google Gemini in this video with our Springboard Java service. And one thing worth mentioning here is it's not free. So you have to pay, for example, $0.00025 per 1k characters. Okay, let's keep it in mind. Okay, let's talk about the prerequisite. In order to use Gemini model, you need to register a Google Cloud account in advance and download the Cloud CLI. So you can take a look at the first video of my Google Cloud Run series. I'll put it in the top right here. So we will use Google Cloud account to create a project and Cloud CLI to authenticate our requests from our Springboard service in our local machine to Google Cloud APIs. Okay. Once you have a Google Cloud account, let's go to the console, cloudgoogle.com. So we will use it to create a new project. So I'm creating a new project. I'll name it Gemini Test and create it. Okay. Okay, now we have Gemini Test. And let's switch to Gemini test here. So now we're in Gemini test project. Then let's go into find a Vertex AI here. Or oh, it's better, we can shut it here. Vertex AI here, Vertex AI. Okay, the first thing we have to enable the APIs until this step, we don't have to pay anything. We only have to be, you know, paid when we actually calling the API. Okay. Uh, once API enabled, we can start create our project. So we will start start Spring I/O. Okay. So you read all Java version three point two point one cloud and. Gemini test demo sample Java 21. Why not? Uh, our dependency, we only need a uh, web Lumbop, maybe. Uh, okay, I'm going to generate it and open it. Okay, we open our project here. Uh, we're going to have me 90 more applications, build grade out, it's about 21. Let's see, do we have it? Okay, 21, good. And web and lump of dependencies. Okay, let's back to the Google documentation. So we are going to try Gemini. Yes, thing to start it. Okay, we are using Java. So in order to use it in Java, if we are using Maven, so then let's copy and paste this dependency into our projects. So in our case, we're using Gradle. So we are going to paste the same. So we are going to have the dependency manager here. So library bombed library bombed person 2629.gerald and we're going to depends on Google Cloud Vertex AI. So 2629.gerald and Google Cloud Vertex AI. So they're the same, right? Really a lot. Okay, let's, the next thing we need to do that we are going to generate a Vertex AI bin. And after that, we're using the project ID, project ID, uh, the location of our project. And once we have the Vertex AI bin, we are going to create another generated model using the AI bin. Okay. And once we have this model, the model name is Gemini Provision, we can start it setting our API. Let's back to our 
application. So I'm going to create a Gemini configuration file here. And it's going to be a configuration class, right? And then in here, we need to create a Vertex AI bin. So a public Vertex AI. Oh, the project IDs and we need to project ID and location. So where do we find those information? Okay, let's back to our documentation here. And we scroll down a little bit, we see the location. So these are available location uh, for Vertex AI. So for example, I live in Vietnam, then I will choose Asia Pacific and Singapore is the nearest place. Uh, so I will choose Asian Southwest one. Location Asian Southwest one and the project IDs uh, here back to our Google Cloud Consult. So we are going to have our project here and this is the project ID. This project ID, we already enable for the AI, right? Enable APIs. Then paste here. So now we have Vertex AI bin. The next step is to create a generative model uh, back to here, try Gemini. Generative model, okay. Return new generative model. And the model name is going to be the model name, the Vertex AI model name is going to be Gemini Provision. And Vertex AI. So we're going to use Vertex AI here. We're not using a method called Vertex AI. So because we are not using a method called, for example, here. So we don't, we can apply the Rossi bin method fail. So only bin references. Okay. And this is a bin, another bin as well. Our Gemini Rovision controller for the Ro Gemini Rovision model. So in class, I will Gemini Rovision controller It's a REST controller. We're going to how to wire our generative model. Generative model, generative model. Here's, okay. We need to use lump up here, requiring one contractor to generate a contractor first. Then let's go to create. Okay, we are so in this API we are going to upload a file and a question and we are try to copy the format here. So we are going to have an image. So we are going to update an image and we are going to ask what's in this image, what in this photo. So I will do the same. So we use the generative model to generate contents on so the first one is the image, the file we're going to put and the question here. One thing worth mentioning here is, is if we are going to do image, there's some limitation uh, to send multimodal prompt requests. So the image just must be PNG or JPEG and the maximum is 16 individual images, maximum size is 4 megabyte, include image and text. Okay, then keep it in mind. So maybe we can, you know, based on this uh, one, to set up our Spring Boot. Okay, let's see, we are going to set in application properties. I'm going to set spring servlet okay mac request site 
for Mega Byte. So total fight and text in the request is four megabyte. For example, spring max file size four megabytes. Well, so the image is not going to be over four megabyte. Okay, before we try it out, we need to authenticate our Spring Boot to the Google API. So in order to do that, we are going to use GCloud UI here. GCloud, GCloud out. Okay, this one. GCloud our application default login. Okay, we authenticate a lot. You are now authenticated with Google Cloud CLI. Okay, so as you know, our credential will be now temporary store here. And once we run application, the libraries, Google here, uh, the Google library, uh, the Google out library off and then library credential will work together to figure it out your credentials and send it together with your request to cloud APIs. Okay, so let's run it. Okay. Okay, we are going to have an image about a dish here, a foot, and then we are going to ask Google Gemini about your web test. Okay, so the name is abc.png, right? So we are going to localhost ATT Gemini provisions. It's a post, and uh, body is from data. Let's back to our controller. So a file, and we are going to support file and a question about those files. So file is going to use in here, file contains, file is by, and then upload a question. Okay, file, question, tag, file, and this tag. So we are going to use this image, and question. What's that? Send it. Okay, it took <laughs> 11 seconds, 12 seconds. And this is going to give us an answer. So this is Vietnamese beef noodles of cold football. So that's right, I confirm it. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it for the video. So in the next video, maybe we'll uh, take a look a little bit about the chess model and thank you so much for taking your time watching this video hope you can learn something new here and see you in next video happy calling